Beloved of the Most High God, this is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I am glad in it. What about you? My name is Susan Onorotimi, a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Living Spring Centre in North London. I'm happy to be with you this morning on these open heaven reflections. Um, the topic we're looking at today is the power of sight, one. The Bible passage is taken from the book of John, chapter 9, verses 1 to 7. John 9, 1 to 7. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciple asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he has said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated sand. So he went and washed and came back seeing. The memory verse of today is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. But happy is he who keeps the law. Reflections. Our memory verse for today says that where there is no revelation or vision, the people perish. I pray that the Lord will open your eye of understanding and you will not perish in the name of Jesus. We all know the importance of vision or sight as our topic goes today. Without sight, any human being in such a state will be living in utter darkness. As it was with the case of the man that we read about in John chapter 9, he was helpless. All he could do was to be led to wherever they dumped him every day where he would be able to do nothing other than begging to provide for his needs. As the Bible says in Luke chapter 11 verse 34, the eye is the light of the body. When a man is without sight, it shows that the light of the body is no longer functioning or is non-existent. Practically, such a person is dwelling in darkness. I pray that you will not dwell in darkness in the name of Jesus. In the Open Heaven Daily Guide of today, Pastor Adeboye told us that there are three categories of sight, namely physical, mental, and spiritual sight. We shall not be deficient in the functioning of the three in the name of Jesus. Physical sight helps us to see physical things and to internalize what we see for our transformation. For instance, Referring to what James in chapter 1 of his epistle said, when you look into the mirror, if you find something that is not in the right place, what you do is to correct it. So our sight helps us to see things physically and to respond to what we see in a positive or negative form. The second sight is the mental sight. That is the ability to see things in a deeper sense and to apply our sense of wisdom. The third is when you see with your spiritual eyes. This is when you are exposed to see spiritual truth that are above what the physical or mental eye can see. This probably like the eyes of God. Our prayer point today is the Father open my physical to see and buy into the great future that you have for me. Enlighten the eye of my understanding so that I can see what you want me to see. So that your Holy Spirit will enable me to live the life that I need to live. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray that the Almighty God will open your eye so that you can see your destiny and the future that he has for you. God bless you and have a wonderful time. Bye for now.